Tell you what, Jim. The CIA has been looking for this guy for a really long time. Okay? It's either we got lucky, or we're just damn good at what we do. Yeah, which is why we need to bring him back, you know? So we can get talking with him. I bet they already got a nice cell lined up for him. Exactly. Which is why we... Which is why we don't bring him back right away. You don't mean we're gonna... That's exactly what I mean. Low lives like these nowadays are just getting off. Why? Because all these damn regulations are just putting these guys back on the streets again and killing our guys. Now with his connections to the Russian government, they're not just gonna hand over self-incriminating evidence in trial. Now you and I both know the correct way to do this. Don't we? So just what exactly do you plan on doing with them? Listen, Jim, this guy's dangerous. And there's other people who are just as dangerous who are probably working for him. Even right now, in our car, we know that he's up to something. Okay? So if we put him in the right environment, you know, with the right motivation, we might get this guy to give us, you know, valuable information. Dave, be careful, I think he speaks English. You're right. Which is why I think we're gonna take him the same place we took Kashmir. English, because it's going to make things a whole hell of a lot easier. Do you understand what I'm saying? Huh? Hey, listen to me! I'm talking to you! I understand perfectly. Okay, well listen up. How does a person like you come up in every conversation I've had with somebody in this area but the interviews that we've conducted, huh? How does a dignified man of the people, a politician, have connections with drug cartels, human trafficking, and terrorist organizations who, where, where all their leaders have all decided to go missing? Huh? You see, I intend to figure out what exactly the organization is doing today. So we're gonna make this easy. Yeah. If you haven't figured out, I'm not a very patient man! So why don't you just tell me what I want to hear and we can this all solved. Let's make it real easy, okay? Let's make it real easy, okay? Don't make me laugh. You are a representative of the justice system of the United States government, whose leaders' mouths drip with the poison of lies and deceit. His hood. Get it off! Get it off his hood!
What are we doing, people? Let's go. What are we waiting around for? God knows Cash and Slav isn't waiting for us. This is it. This is it. Dmitry Kashinslav. He's a known Russian extremist operating out of central Russia. Currently, he's listed as a low level threat to national security. But we've gathered some intel that shows he's going to be making some big political moves in this upcoming election. We're not going to let that happen. Agent Banfield and his team are currently leading a sting operation in Lesnor, Russia, with a team of snipers watching Kashinslav's every single move. This needs to go smoothly, people. I want him dead, or worse, by tonight. Sir, we have him on comms right now. Good. Good. Captain, are you in position? Over. In position, copy that. Copy that, stand by. You might want to call an HQ. Overlord, this is Falcon. We're in the nest. Captain Stevens is in position. Waiting on your call. Over. Agent Carter, do you read me? Over. Hear you loud and clear. Over. The target's approaching. ETA five minutes. Send us the ID and we'll give you the green light. Over. We'll alert you when the objective is complete. Over. Copy that. Get it done. HQ over and out. Here he comes. Right on time. Sir, the car's approaching. What's the status on the ID? Working on it right now, sir. Good. Agent Carter, you do not fire until we give you a positive ID. Do you hear me? You do not fire until you receive a positive ID from us. Over. Roger. Copy that. <laughs> Alright, get ready. Looks like he's got one tango with him. Copy that. All right. Alert Agent Banfield. He needs to know about this. All right, Agent, the target is approaching. You're to give him the package. Make sure you give a three foot radius when we take him out. If you're too close, just act cool. But we need that radius in order to take him out cleanly. Over. It looks like it's him. Perfect. Alert Captain Stevens and his team. I need them to be ready right after I take the shot. Captain, approach the house. You're to secure Agent Banfield once the shot is taken. Over. Waiting on your call. Over. He's walking up. He's walking up right now. He's got. He's got one tango with him. Package has been dropped. Everything's good so far. They're just talking right now. Tell me, sir. In the deal, both parties benefit, correct? I suppose so. Tell me why. You have a sniper scope on me right now. A sniper scope? There's no sniper. I brought you what we agreed. Why would there be a sniper?
taking Agent Banfield hostage. Sir, the code's up below. Cancel soft has Banfield hostage. What? Damn it. Tell him to take the shot. Go. Do you have a shot? It's it's not clean. Do you have a shot? It's, it's not clean. I can't I can't take it. Take the shot! Drop the gun! Put it down! Put it down! Take it! Got it! Take the shot! Multiple tangos. Take them all out. Weapons free. Captain Slav's getting away. The target's getting away, HQ. I repeat, the target is getting away. Sir, the shot missed. Captain Slav's getting away. Marshall and his team are falling back now. Damn it! It's too hot. They don't know where we're at. Let's go. Let's go. Tell Kaz and Saw we killed him. But we didn't. Just 
Still my dice, eh? Unacceptable! A veteran soldier of your status can't take down one, one guy! Can't take down one guy! Not only, not only did Cash and Slav get away, a good man is dead because of you! Because of your inability to act, soldier! Captain John Stevens, dead because of you! Look, Marshal, we've worked together a long time. But after that embarrassment out there, my superiors are going to be all over my ass. Marshall, I... Look, we've known each other for 10 years, and you've, you've done your job. You served with dignity for 10 years. But I... I mean... The best we're looking at is a desk job. I can maybe get you a desk job. Director Theskin needs to see you. Marshal! You wanted to see me, sir? Take a seat. How are you liking your new position? Don't answer that. Alright, well, I didn't think we'd get a second chance at this, but your division has gotten us some pretty solid intel on Cash and Slav. No one knows more about this case than you do. That's why I'm putting you back in the field. Yes, sir. Before you take this case, let me debrief you on how dangerous this mission is going to be. This is a deep undercover op. Deep. You're going to be working as Cash and Slav's newest recruit. So they're just going to take an American without question? The man whose place you're going to be taking is a known extremist. Cash and Slav is taking him in in an attempt to radicalize terror cells in the U.S. Captain Carter and his team are working on negotiations with this man right now. You're going to be placed as Cash and Slav's bodyguard. You're going to get to know him, gain his trust, and tell us everything, everything that he tells you. Marshall Strippy's dead. You're now Derek Slate. So how am I going to relay the information back to the CIA if I'm in Moscow? Captain Carter and his team will also be placed in Russia in an undisclosed location. We've arranged a meeting location for you and Carter to give them the intel. What information am I looking for? Any and everything on deals, locations of hot targets, any big plans. You just relay it over to Carter, and we'll get it taken care of. Sounds easy enough. Look, Marshal, that's only part of it. We know Cash and Slav has something huge planned. We don't know where it's at or when it's going to be. You have four months to prepare for this. As soon as you find out Cash and Slav's plans, you're to terminate him immediately. So we feel that whoever's next in line, the plan's just going to follow through anyways. If you can't pull it off, we're going to have to send someone into Moscow to take him out of this final political meeting. This isn't going to be easy, Marshal. If you slip up once, he's going to be able to sniff you out like a dog. Are you in?
so you're Derek Slate. You're probably wondering where Cash and Sloth is. You can relax a little bit. I'm taking you to him right now. I'm kind of like his right hand man, but they, they call me Eagle. Whatever he says to do, just listen to him, all right? lives do you plan on taking during your next attack? Do you want to know? Do you want to know what I'm going to do? Come closer. Come on. Come closer. Dave. It's fine. This son of a bitch can't do anything. He's tied up. We'll see about that. Just for yelling at her. I really hate yelling. You don't know me yet, do you? Well, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Dimitri Kashinsov. Now, you want to know what it is that I'm going to do, do you? Fine. I'll tell you. See, I hate pests. They infest our homes, eat the vegetables from my garden, destroy the foundation. They take what is rightfully ours. See, my goal, it's a surprisingly simple one, to rid the world of its biggest pest. Do you know who that is? It's the United States government. I would love to stay and chat. But, Detective, it seems that you are the next obstacle in my path to success. Goodbye, Detective. We'll be there shortly. Is Dimitri here? Let's go in. What's going on? Got a little something special planned for you. Get up! Let me take a look at you. You know how much money I spent to get you here? It's a dick missed off. Not the guy. 
Get them up. It's him. Relax, man, relax. All right? Fast on a bitch. What's going on? Welcome to the crew. This is when all the fun starts. Oi! That's Tanya. <laughs> Let's go. Up. Back down. Up. Back down. Let's go. Come on. Back there. Then back down. Clean yourself up. Dimitri needs to talk to you. Ah, it's late. Come in. Have a seat. 15 times up the hill and you're still walking. Impressive. Yeah. About yesterday. Why, why did I have to do all that? It's part of the initiation process into my group. It shows you that your life is now mine. But enough of yesterday. We're talking about now. Tomorrow, there is going to be a shipment. It is going to be held in the Tigra woods. Now, this should be a quick and easy deal. But I'm going to have you there, just in case, to make sure everything goes smoothly. But you must always remember the one rule. What's the one rule? No matter what happens to you or anyone else out there, my life is more important than yours. I must live. Marshall, what's it like in there with him? Cash and Slav's insane, but he treats his friends well. I should fit in really easily over the next couple months. How's everything with the squad going? How's Private? Oh, he's doing good. We're, uh, we got a good location. We're camped down right now, and we're just waiting on orders. Oh yeah, about the mission. Uh, Cash and Slav's picking up a shipment in the Tigraf woods. Now, the woods are really, really dense, and he's got men surrounding the whole area. So I think the only way that you can get in without being seen is by going through the river. Ah, uh, I hate those kind of missions. All right, we'll take it out tomorrow. All right, good luck. I may get dark for a couple of weeks until the next mission. All right, man, Just stay strong in there. Squad on me.
heading into the T-Grav woods. Should be a shipment and a lot of men. We'll get out, get the shipment, and hopefully stop catching slot for good. I got our weapons, the boat's right up this way and we're good to go. Let's make it fast. to Martin Donetsky's. Wait, what? I thought you said we were going to the Telegraph Woods. Change your plans. Let's go. 
All right, so we are going to my old uh, comrade's house. He's a good man, but a bit of an asshole. So this deal might not go as planned. Okay. All right. Should I bring a gun? Yes. You never know what may happen. Kako si? Što pravi? Ej, hvala ti. Što me dojsa? Nema problem. Poveli, sedni. Znači... Hvala ti tukaj še dojde. Si da ti je ravo ti... Nataša, hrana taka je! Izvini malce, glupa je. Znači... Imam nekoj biznis predlog za tebe. Nataša! Izvini, povtorno, znači... Glupa je. Možem da ti predložim neko ko ravo ti. Može me da... Ajde, Nataša, kaj je hrana ta? Hvala. Izvini malce, glupa me razbiraš, i si te tjera ovo ti, bolje. To ima pregled. Bolje, znači, ako se saglasuješ sa mene, možem da ti dam dve prikazne. Jednata, možemo da ga odnesemo parite do bankata, a vtorata možemo preko okeanata. Čo misliš ti? Mnogo si glup. Znači, ovdje jaz ti nudam šanse še jednaž vo životu, me razbiraš? Јас и ти можеме да направиме многу работи заедно, ама ако се работваш со мене, дали ме разбираш? Значи, има многу места кај што можеме да направиме работи, дали ме разбираш? Перя си, ме него се глуп. Значи, како пат ја ти кажам, не можеме ова да го направиме заедно, треба заедно да работиме. Ако не ги ќе работиш со мене, бегај! Снаб лафе. A deal cannot be made. Znači, kako pa ti možem da vi rečam? Mnogo ste glupi, ne možem s ova sto da go pram. Da li me razbirate? You okay back there, Dimitri? Yeah, I think I'll be fine. Is everything alright? Talk to me, what's going on? I'm fine, just keep driving. What's wrong? I don't know. I think it was the food. I think that bastard poisoned me. Pull over! Pull over now! Come on, come on. You all right? Come on, come on, look at me, yeah. look at me. Captain Carter, I'm here in mission failure. What happened? We went to the Tigrov woods, but nothing was there. No shipment, no cash and slob. What do you mean that wasn't cash and slob's men? Marshall gave you solid intel. I don't know. Maybe his intel was wrong. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I don't know what's going on. All I do know is, next time you two meet, he better have a real mission for you. He got up early this morning. He's starting to fully recover. He did well, saving his life. He even told me that he's starting to see some of you in him. But listen, Slade, I've been working with Cash and Sloth for a very long time. You can call him your friend, but you can never trust him. 
I've seen too many men like you disappear. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Wait. You don't know him like I do. Once he sets his mind to something, he will stop at nothing until it's finished. How do you know him so well? I knew him when I was younger. We, we grew up together, but that's besides the point. He, he's waiting for you outside. Thanks. Ah, Slate. Come enjoy this brisk morning with me. You know, I had my doubts about you, but these past couple weeks, you proved yourself to be a great bodyguard and a great comrade. Slade, let me tell you a story about how I got this scar. When I was a boy, my father, he worked with the Russian government. He was a great scientist and a great man. One day, me and my mother were sitting by the fire. We heard a knock on the door. Four American soldiers came in and grabbed my mother. All I could remember was her screaming. Then my father came in, and they kept yelling, where are the plans, where are the plans? My father said he would not tell them. Then, one of the soldiers came up to me and he pulled out his knife. He ran it down the side of my face, kept asking my father. My father couldn't take it no longer, and he told him what they wanted to know. Then, I thought it was going to be over. Then they shot both my parents and killed them. I laid by their sides the whole night till my babushka found me in the morning. Since that day, I've sworn vengeance on the Americans. Now that you have my trust, I have an important job for you. You remember my bodyguard, Eagle. I'm going to give you his address. In the next few days, I need you to pick up a shipment for me. Yes, sir, whatever you need. If I'm gonna put my men in danger, you need to give me some actual intel. Look, the mission was that I talk to Cash and Slug, and I tell you everything he tells me. I gave you solid intel. I told you what he told me. Well, Cash and Slug wasn't there. Do you want the next mission or not? All right, give it to me. All right. Cash and Slug's right-hand man, Eagle, is having a shipment delivered right to his house. Now, it's surrounded by guards during the day, so the only way you can get there by going at night. Now, take the shipment, but don't take him out. He's a good soldier and I'd hate to see him go. What? He's part of Cash and Slaw's men. How can we not take him out? You okay, man? This isn't the same marshal I knew two weeks ago. He never would have said that. Just get it done. So, Captain, is there going to be anything here this time? We're just here to do what Marshall tells us. If the intel's good, he'll be there. I sure hope so. We almost died doing this. You don't know what's going on in there, Sergeant. He's in deep cover. We're just here to do what he says. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is good. All right, the house is about a half mile over that rise. We'll set up camp here. Private Bitterman. Yes, sir. Find us clearing. Yes, sir. Rise and shine, boys. Oh, my God. It's time to go. Get your gear.
cow. We got targets inside, one on the porch. Sergeant, go around and get him. It's not him. Let's get out of here. Do you know how much power I have? If you ever refuse me again, I will cut your head off.
confessing. What are you doing here? Oh, believe me, Carter. I don't want to be here. But apparently I have to be. Because in two attempts, four highly trained soldiers can't even get one guy. He's one man. One man and you can't get him. What's the problem? Maybe if we have some better intel, sir. Here, soldier. And you, Carter, Captain, you've been doing this shit for 20 years. Why can't you get it done? Sir, we just do what Marshall's telling us. There's nothing there. Did it ever once occur to you? One, did it ever once occur to you that maybe Marshall's a sleeper cell? That maybe Cash and Solve is brainwashing him? You ever once think of that? No, that... You don't know Marshall like I do. That would never happen to him. Are you kidding me? A man with your experience should know that, that can happen to anyone. Especially Cash and Slaw. Alright. I'll keep that in consideration the next time I meet with him. You got one shot left. Krasnov. Yes, everything is going to plan. A few days after the conference, we should be able to execute the mission at the United Nations meeting. I need you to pick up the uranium behind the Maslow warehouse. Good. See you then, my friend. Ah, Slade. Just the man I wanted to see. I heard something about another assignment? Yes. We'll be getting another shipment. Picked up at the old steel mill. Steel mill? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I have something big planned for the Americans. But first, they must give me a reason. And now, we wait. Now go. I have work to do. You want to explain to me why you keep sending us to these bullshit locations? That place we were just at was the home of a highly dangerous weapons dealer. He had men surrounding the whole area. Now we took a lot of guys out that had nothing to do with Cash and Slav. What am I supposed to go tell Director Theskin? I'm going to go back there and tell him that we have nothing. And we still have nothing. How can you not say anything to me? You've been with him a long time. Listen, Marshall. No, you listen to me, Carter. It's clearly evident now that you can't handle a position that was once mine. I remember when I was promoted to captain over you that you were jealous. Admit it, you were jealous. Jealous of a man that clearly deserved the position as your superior. Now look at you. Two years later, when you still can't get the job done, you come running back to me. That's we're ridiculous. We're failing this mission because of your intel because you can't get the job done. You know this has nothing to do with you being taken out of the field. Now, I was with you on that failed mission. It's my fault just as much as it is yours. Don't give me that, Carter. Don't give me that. Listen, I'm tired. I'm tired of this, and I'm tired of serving a country who sends men in uniform off to their deaths so that men in suits can continue to profit off of the weak. I don't know what's going on with you. Maybe Cash and Slav's feeding you false information. Have you ever thought of that? That's why we keep getting ambushed. Maybe he's lying Cash to you. and Slav would never lie to me. I need a location, okay? I need something so we Do can- Do you want a location? Yes. I'll give you a location, Carter. He's picking up a, he's picking up a shipment and a banded steel mill. What? He's picking up a shipment and an abandoned steel mill. Now are you sure this information is reliable? Positive.
looks like he's pulling off. Let's take him right now. Secure the van. Van secure. Bitterman, Foxville. Check the back. back. Marshall. Marshall, is that you? Marshall. Marshall. Where are you? ETA on cash and flow. They're setting up right now. Five or six minutes. Is Marshall out there? Hey, listen to me. Enough about Marshall. You got it? Enough! We've been at this for two years, Carter. Two years! We've lost two men because you couldn't get it done. Hell, I remember when Bitterman was just an analyst, and now he's being loaded in a body bag because you and your men couldn't get it done. Look, Director. Dispers got a scope on him right now. I'm not gonna let my men die for nothing. Get it done. How's the sight line looking? Looks good. Should be able to take a clean shot. Okay. I can't believe I got sent to scout sniping locations while you watched Foxville and Bitterman die.
Hello. My name is Dmitry Kashinslav. Most of you have seen me on the news. You probably want to know what it is that I have to say. Some of you may think I'm a threat. It's because I am. No, not a threat to you, your suburban homes, or your spoiled family's lives. I am a threat to something much larger, much more important than that. As of now, I am currently the largest threat to the self-serving government of the United States. Over the past few years, I have been gaining my wealth from absolute poverty to become one of the most successful businessmen and favored politicians in Russia. And once the United States finds someone that can test their power over the rest of the world, they deem that person a target. I have come here today to say enough! Get out of here. Grastanya Ivanovich. Let's talk, Marshal! What happened at the conference? What happened? We had the same shot we had two years ago. Did he get in your head again? Huh? Two years made him dead because of you! What happened? We put Carter's men in danger for you four times! Four times, Marshal! And we still don't know Cassius off the way! Get him up. We took cover up an assassination attempt because of you. How do you think we should do that, Carter? Huh? Make it easy, Marshal. What's the plan? I, I don't remember. I don't remember anything. He had to have said something. You were there for four months. What is it? A few days after the conference, 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 we should be able to execute the mission, mission, mission at the United Nations meeting, meeting. meeting. Damn it, Marshal! Tell me. Is, is there a UN conference tomorrow? What? A United Nations conference? Yeah, the president's there right now. Okay, that's the target. That that's the target. He's gonna. He's trying to kill the president. Stay here. You've done enough already. What do you say? What's going after the president? I need a chopper.
place. The conference is right above us. Plant the bomb over there. Captain Carter, I've had your friend Marshall at my house for four months. And for four months, I've led you and your team into traps, but you've always got away. But I have you now, and I'm going to kill you, as well as your president. Do you think you can fool me, having one of your Americans in my camp? Put the gun down! Slate, put the gun down! Take it easy. Pointing the gun at the wrong man. Marshall, shoot him, he's a terrorist! Slate, do you remember what I taught you, okay? No, don't listen to him! Do you him. remember what I told you about your country? Marshall, kill it! You're Marshall, an American! You saved my life once. You can do it again. Marshall, this man's a terrorist. Mar Marshall, what are you doing? Don't you remember your training? Don't listen to him. Don't you remember two years ago? Marshall, don't you remember where you're from? Dude? 